think the biggest problem is there's all this the weight yeah I, that was stupid of me Hello, this is Sino Cow, and I am back with Return to the Stars. It's been quite a while. Um, schoolwork's gotten pretty tough. Um, however, bef between last episode, I think it was that was just an update episode, and this, I've made a lot of changes. Um, I don't know what all this noise is about, but firstly, you might notice something a little different around here. And that's this giant um, structure over what used to be a bunch of giant holes. You can see some of the holes actually over here. Yeah, so there's all these holes and such that the because of the giant the red ship remember that crashed. Um, so now it's actually the, the pieces are still over there, but in any case, I plan on building a base right here. I'm gonna weld all this up. Uh, I hope I have enough steel plates. I think I should. I think I will. And then I'll have a nice flat area to work on. Okay. I think that's a little weird. The sound just kind of stops, and then and then as soon as you. Okay. Anyway. Let's see. What else? What do we have going on? This is silicon. And the other one's doing some nickel. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I'll have enough steel plates. Do I have enough? Do I just have any iron? Just plain old. Okay, I do. Um, hmm. I wonder if I could convert this into a. Oh yeah, uh, there's a patch, and now there is lens flare, which is actually really neat. Let's see. So maybe I'll convert this into a welder of some sort. Maybe I can. Uh, since I never really land it. Maybe I can put some elbow joints pointing downward and then all the welders and I can just glide along the surface. Yeah, I think I might try that. Also, another news, um, I don't know if I s said so or not, but the whole solar farm is operational and I think that I'm actually positive I'm making more power than I am using. Let me just check. One of the batteries is getting full charge. Interesting. But the other one is just sitting there. What about the ship? Okay. And those are full. Interesting. So yeah. So I'm making definitely much more power than is necessary. At least enough to charge, recharge one battery at a time. Not bad. Okay. Hmm. I think then now I will convert this into into a welder. Where's my Oh, I have them both. Let's see if I can reach. No. That's annoying. Maybe Do this. Let's grab a few more of these. And then there we go. 
Now I can reach. Okay, and then I'll just put all this stuff away and do the last one. Okay, next I need to put three joints so they point downwards. Um, nine. I need some interior plates. Okay. Looks like I need four. E no, how many? I need seven. Seven times three, twenty-one. I probably need some. Not those. Some of these guys as well. Okay. No, that was. Oh, I made it. One. Two, three. Okay, I need some construction components and small steel tubes. That should be more than enough. Okay, now I need these guys. Okay, some steel plates. How many do I need? I need 12 each, so that's 36. bunch of those and what else will it need? It'll probably need some, some computers. Okay. I also need some large steel tubes it looks like. And some more motors. Ooh, ah, phooey. Okay. What is it like? Five of these. And more right, more motors. More motors. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now I just need to hop in my ship, fill it up with a ton of steel plates, and we can get to work. Maybe I don't want to fill it up so much <laughs> now that I think about it. Eh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Thrusters on. Gyroscopes on. I don't need ore detector camera. I'll turn that on anyway. I don't think I'll need it. Uh, I'll turn air on. And... welders into three. Okay. Let's hope that we don't... Oh wait, also... Make sure we have power. Oh. Oh, crud! 
What the heck? Um, that's not good at all. Um, Okay, let's let's try and see if we can turn this off somehow. I think the biggest problem is there's all this the weight. Yeah, I, that was stupid of me. Okay. No, I, I was actually just for a moment there contemplating whether I should just ah, it's too hard. I will, I'll just uh, not save and try again. But I don't like the idea of that. I should learn from my mistakes the hard way. If I'm gonna be stupid and not carry enough weight or carry too much weight, then I need to pay the consequences of my foolishness. Um, I'll get back once I'm done loading all this back into there and hopefully getting the ship upright. Alright. Okay, I'm back. It's empty and I've realized, you know what, I, this, this ship wasn't working very well. I mean, it, it kind of did its job, but since it's already half in pieces, I mean, there's just bits everywhere. I'm thinking that I'd, I'm just gonna scrap it and try again. The only thing I'll be disappointed about is these batteries. Because they are full. But I won't lose all that much because, I mean, I am just, I'm recycling it. I mean, I lost the cockpit. That's pretty annoying. Um. They also lost one of the two of the large thrusters. I don't know. Yeah, that that was stupid of me to think. Oh, it's got more weight than because I, I realized normally um, it started getting or feeling heavy at ninety thousand kilograms or ninety. That would be like ninety tons. And it was at 150, so I should have known. So I'm going to try and make another ship. This is just going to be for welding. It's, and hopefully this one will... It's also going to be a little bit more utilitarian. I'm going to have less of this side paneling stuff that doesn't actually do anything but add weight. So it's going to be super... Probably really ugly, actually. But I'm hoping that it'll work better. No. This is going to be annoying. Um, anyways, in the meantime, maybe I can talk about some of the changes and recent updates. Um, and let's see, just a couple days ago, there was an update that, what did it do? It, it added support for, oh shoot, people to make custom um, custom cutscenes. So if they make campaigns like the one that's provided with the game, they can then have an easier time making it look nice. Also, again, there's the lens flare that was just added in a couple patches ago, and there's also a new heads-up display. 
in the works. So currently, you see the, the blue stuff. If, if you don't know what head is up display is, it's the like the, the reticle in the middle of the screen and the toolbar at the bottom and the little gravity thing in the right and the all the little information bits in the left and menus and such it's like this and if I were to go here all this stuff apparently they're going to change how that looks so yeah that's that's what's coming up um, I think the crazy n number of new features is going to slow down a little bit just because they're in beta now not alpha oh good grief okay um, but, yeah, so that's, that's, that's what's going on. I'm a little disappointed that I don't think in this episode I'll be able to get to actually working on welding up this platform. But, you can kind of get a general look of how it's going to be, right? There's a little raised area here, and it goes up a level, and then it goes up yet another over there. I think it's going to be pretty cool. And then once I do that, uh, I can start building something a little bit more substantial, somewhere to call home. And then there's just over this hill, I don't remember if I ever showed it, but there's a, a big ice lake. Um, and I purposefully landed here with my ship, or crash landed, because I wanted to be near that lake so that I can get hydrogen um, from the, the ice. So you can put ice in oxygen generators, and as a byproduct of oxygen, you can get hydrogen. And that can then be used for hydrogen, oh, hydrogen thrusters, which can get me off the planet's surface because you can only go so far with atmospheric thrusters, like the, the turbine ones. So in order to get off the planet <coughs> and into space, I'm going to need lots of hydrogen. But before that, I'd like to call I want to make sure that I have somewhere that I can feel is home, home base. And maybe I'll just go up into space a little bit, maybe I'll create a space station and I could have like automatic uh, transports that go between here and there, or maybe I'll make an elevator. Or, I don't know. What else? Ah! I didn't like how this ship looked anyway. So it's alright. I haven't done a YouTube video in a while. This has been... I think it's been almost almost a month since I last made one. Um, yeah. I planned on doing them more frequently, actually. I thought, hey, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do YouTube more often. Try and... Oh, that's kind of funny looking. Um, so that I could hopefully build some sort of fan base. Of course, right now it's only, what, 19 subscribers? I know, I think, half the people. So it's... I don't know if that counts. Nope. Somebody can't take the batteries and, like, plug them into other things. Hello? Hello? What the heck? Oh, when weird things happen. Oh, they just ran out of power because of the battery. So that was startling. Uh, well, firstly... Battery station. Get back to work. So I guess I could talk about that while I'm doing this. Uh, I plan to have it be so there's a cockpit on top, and then it's going to be kind of a, a vertical ship. So there'll be the cockpit at the very top, and then 
there'll be a storage con container with connectors, or at least one, coming off the side. And then it's going to split into four, and then it's going to have four welders poking out the bottom. And I think I'm also hoping that what this means, since it's that shape, that I can later repurpose it in order to um, go mine up that ice. Why is the air vent so tough? Did, did I just, just... I think I did. I think I'm... this is... welds or grinds so fast that it just destroys things if I run out of inventory space. Alright. And that's that. Okay, and the scrap's going where it needs to go as well. Good. And I think these actually have made them so efficient that um, any scrap metal actually is, and iron is one to one, right? Because these are all efficiency. These guys. Oh, I don't know if I've shown this yet either. Got a little platform here. Um, how long's it been? Hmm. Actually, maybe I will stop this episode here, um, just for the sake of being a little bit brief. Uh, okay, so I'll get to this later, um, and maybe I'll do a little bit of the building of the new ship off camera, and then start when it's looking a little bit more like an actual ship, and we can actually get to doing something more interesting. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and this was Xenocow, signing off.